the body's pretty beat down here, and uh, I mean, it's it's seen a lot better days. And somebody had welded the door shut on this thing, and uh, left the weld. Once I got the body back and the door that was welded shut, I uh, I had to cut it off and grind the weld off. And they actually uh, cut the skin all the way right here, and it was it was really warped. So what I did was cut it all the way up, and right here, as you can see, that I have it finished. And I pulled the body forward, um, essentially pulling that big lump out of there. So uh, what I'm doing now, um, the bottom right here is real nasty, and I'll uh, show you that. It uh, needs to be replaced, and I uh, got some metal panels made, the bead roller, and uh, basically I'm going to use the existing fender weld and cut this piece out and weld this one in and hammer weld it and make it just like it was new. Uh, then I won't have to deal with any old body that uh, is going to be a lot more work than making this new panel. We'll uh, cut it out. I got this thing uh, fitting pretty good, um, so what I'm gonna do is actually make this roll a little bigger, and I'm gonna uh, slowly get this curve back out of it and uh, get it fitting the bottom of the body a little bit better. So. I'm gonna tighten this curve up a little bit, make this panel a little more curvy, and uh, we'll get her buttoned up and ready to go. So basically, uh, it's fitting somewhat okay, and uh, it's just real flat, and I kind of want to make a real slight curve to it, and that's how the bodies were originally. Um, some of them were flat, and beaten flat over the years, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this off and take it to the shrinker stretcher and stretch it. So here's the uh, patch panel that I uh, have made for the quarter panel. And uh, you can see that it's just super flat, and the body does have a slight curve to it. And uh, what it'll do is make this curve fit the body a little better instead of having to hammer it all out and fight it basically. So, what I'm going to do is stretch it with my stretcher, and uh, basically, it grabs the metal and pinches it together to cause a curve. thing I like to do is go in the uh, real slight increments because before you know it you'll uh, be bending something in half and not want that so uh, I just go real slow and get a curve going in it I can already see it starting 